What's the crack guys? So today is a day like no other day. It is my birthday. So uh, not doing a whole lot for it to be honest. Uh, going to the gym now, gonna get a push session in. Um, a fantastic way to start the day. So gym, maybe some food, and then either gonna go to the Connacht match or watch it on TV from the comfort of my own living room. So uh, yeah, I think as you get older, you kind of give less of a shit about your birthday, but um, I am getting older. Oh fuck, 26, shit. Yeah, it's fucking mad. But uh, guys, I'm not gonna hang about. I'm eager to get to the gym. I have my pre-workout on me, so let's get it done. Catch you later. Right guys, so just started my push session off with behind the neck military press. I like to use, use the Smith machine uh, over the barbell because I've had issues with, with my shoulder in the past, you know, I've had tendonitis and the fixed movement, it just allows me to hit the delts more effectively without say doing it standing, it can often lose control of the movement. So that's basically the reason. And I find I get a better pump and a better uh, focus on the muscle I actually want to work when I use this Smith machine. So next to work, moved on to one arm uh, cable lateral raise, aim for about 15 reps here, higher reps, burn out the muscle, nice slow controlled movement up and down, no swinging. Uh, I then moved on to a variation on the lateral raise on an incline bench, again slow and controlled, lightweight, focusing on feeling the muscle I want to work, work, uh, slow and controlled on the eccentric phase especially um, to really fatigue the muscle and tear those muscle fibers. So inevitably as I started to get fatigued you know there's a little bit of mo momentum in there but on your last two three reps it's not the end of the world so then moved on to some chest started off with decline bench I started off with decline because the flat was being used but there's not a whole lot of difference you're going to incorporate your triceps a little bit more in the decline but uh, it's a great exercise as well it's also not as heavy and not as strenuous on the delts so Again, quite effective considering I started the session with my delt workout. Uh, then I moved on to an incline barbell press, so super slow on the eccentric and trying to power up. That is actually me trying to power up, because, but because my chest is quite fatigued at this stage, I'm struggling. And there's only 50 kg in the bar, this is the last set, so I dropped it down then again. Again, super slow on the eccentric, doing partial reps here just to really burn out the muscle right at the end as a finisher. Next, I finished on some tricep work. So here I'm just doing a superset, row push down, uh, just in standing position. So again, really what I'm focusing on here is my forearm touching off my bicep on the eccentric phase. So getting a good stretch on the tricep and then bringing it down and focusing on and getting a good contraction as well. Then I just moved on to or superseted that with an overhead extension. So exact same movement, stretch on the eccentric, good contraction at the bottom. So this is current my current shape at the moment. I'm kind of halfway between, in two months between uh, bulking and cutting. So pretty happy with things are going. Feel like I'm making progress. So that's the most important thing. And sorry, enjoy my training. Even more important. What's the crack guys? So just back from town there, had a lovely uh, lunch with me mammy. Um, so. 56 Central, really really nice. I have to say it's probably my favorite place to eat. I uh, had a big burger and sweet potato fries. There's some pastries out there. I've had half. I'm not actually a big, don't really have that much of a sweet tooth. Used to, but don't really react that well uh, to you know, chocolate ice cream and stuff anymore. But yeah, uh, fucking tired. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna compete this year. Uh, I still have to see how things are going at the moment I feel really really good about my uh, training and my condition I feel like I can put in size feel like big areas and improve it but I just kind of have to assess things as I go along and um, but you know in the past even on a birthday say I would have been quite cautious about what I was eating which is pretty you know pathetic really it's uh, the last few years or especially in the last two years really I've just become so kind of you know aware of not l finding that balance not like you know being so conscious of every last macro and every last bit of food i'm taking in life is about living you know if you're putting that much of an emphasis on um on everything you put into your mouth you're going to be miserable 
And I always think it's so funny. I remember I put, I put up a post there recently. It got such a big, one of the big, probably the biggest reaction I've ever got about, about a post. It was about, you know, how not set, you know, how so many fitness gurus or fitness uh, guys, well, not necessarily fitness gurus. It's, tip, it's typically the guys, the, the IFBB pros and the physique guys and fitness models and all these spoofers that put up, don't settle for average. When really, I I actually personally believe they have the most average lives out of all people. They don't leave, live whatsoever. They're the kind of guys that, you know, go to the gym twice a day, eat, you know, clean 24 seven all the time. Uh, you know, have no life, you know, don't go out and socialize. Don't go out and do, you know, play, you know, any team sports or anything like that for fear of getting injured. Yet they claim, uh, don't settle for average uh, from the most average person on earth um oh fuck, drives me mad i think oh, people have such perceptions of themselves these days in the fitness industry and stuff and harping on about now that i've put up one video and one post about kind of dissing the fitness industry i kind of have a make it a habit of talking about it a lot but uh no it's just i don't know it's kind of uh an interesting topic i think Ho hopefully there'll be a new wave of kind of you know Find the balance, enjoy your training, those kind of trainers or fitness guys coming through rather than really kind of the intense um, bullshitters. Uh, we'll go to the cock match in an hour, so that'll be good crack. And uh, maybe a point or two later, because I'm all about that balance, yo. We'll see. Uh, so yeah, guys, that's my birthday vlog for the day. Uh, I'll catch you in the next one. See you later.